What is up everybody? It's your girl Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Stephanie. Please join the community by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you're notified every time that I post. For today's video, we're gonna be talking about my fall lineup. So if that's something that you're interested in hearing, please keep on watching. Um, I'm so sorry if you guys hear a little bit of noise. I got my baby girl right here on my lap. Um, I don't have a sitter today, so um, yeah, just, you know, mom things. I'm just gonna go ahead and just jump right in. And the first one that I'm gonna talk about uh, is Alien. Now, this is an oldie but a goodie. This is probably part of everybody's collection. I, I find that this fragrance is quite dark. Amber, jasmine, and some woody notes. And I think what really uh, stands out most in this fragrance is that jasmine because it's like a dark, mysterious type of jasmine. It's, it's beautiful. I didn't understand it when I first um, got this fragrance, but now I love it so much. I have made quite a dent in there um, I've gotten compliments wearing this and It's just a good one to have um, For anybody in their collection. So that's alien by Mugler. The next one that I have is also another good one and this one is from the house of Gedlan and this is La Petite Robe Noir black perfecto and this one is a gorgeous rose patchouli and leather scent with a touch of cherry i believe there's also almond in this because i do get a little bit of nuttiness if there isn't please excuse me that's just what my nose picks up but this is predominantly more um leather and with like that hint of cherry like i said a little bit spicy um, this is definitely one to check out. If you really like more leathery notes, this this one really stands out in the leather. This is like a really um, fun uh, night out type of scent when you're going to a concert, um, when you're just going to go out and have some fun. And it's just stunning. I've already kind of been wearing... Um, a little bit here and there when it's when there's like some chilly days <laughs> we're actually going through a heat wave right now in california but uh once it starts getting the slightest bit colder best believe i'm gonna be busting this one out the next one that i want to talk to you guys about honestly uh fairly new to my collection i don't know that it's a love for me but it's a like but you know i can always change my mind if this is one of your faves please don't be offended um this is kind of a, a crowd pleasing scent um from for me personally i i don't think there's much depth to it but also i haven't had much experience because i haven't really worn it yet i've only tested it out a couple times yves saint laurent's montperry um and i actually received this as a gift and now i did spray it um right here on my elbow and this is a really nice sparkling girly scent i think if you're a girly girl and you want something for the fall time you like more freshy clean scents um you like more uh, sweet uh, decadent type of scents i think that you would really like this this is still classy um but it's definitely for like a nice date night night out this is definitely a date night scent i could picture that like uh, Gabby DiMartino, if you guys uh, know of her here on YouTube, uh, I could I could imagine her wearing this out on a date. Um, I think it's beautiful. Um, I personally think it smells similar to Giorgio Armani C, which is actually the next fragrance that I'm going to talk about in this lineup. I have worn this a lot, so <laughs> this is definitely a love for me. And um, I, I feel like they smell similar, but I feel like C is like the older sister of Montpari. There's some booziness to this one. I feel like this one's less sparkly. I feel like uh, this one is a lot brighter, but C is a little bit darker, a little bit more rich, has more depth to it. Um, I really can't pick up a lot of the notes. I get a lot of patchouli in here. I don't think it's the star show of it. I think it's like a supporter in this fragrance. Uh, definitely 
definitely would recommend. So that's Giorgio Armani mm. C. Next one that I'm gonna talk about mm. is fairly new to my collection. And this one is mm. Swiss Arabian mm. Casablanca. Mm. Baby, I really apologize. You guys hear my baby, I do apologize. Um, <laughs> she's talking right now. And this one is oh, a beautiful gourmand. This is, this reminds me of La Danza del Libelul. And also, if you guys have smelled Pana London's Gourmantic Orange, if both of those had a baby, this this would be it right here. I believe there's apple, apple caramel, but the apple is like ripe. It's definitely an apple that's a lot softer, not crisp. Um, in my opinion, it's like a softer red apple that I get with some caramel. This is a beautiful gourmand. Um, I think that this is for all year round. I think you could pull it off all year round. This reminds me of like an apple cider, <laughs> like a warm apple cider that you have during fall and winter when you go to like a pumpkin patch. When you're a mom, baby comes first. Now the next fragrance that I want to talk about is um, niche and it's from an independent house and you guys have probably ran into his videos if you haven't please check him out his name is Aaron Terrence Hughes and this fragrance right here is called onyx I love this fragrance I feel like this 10 mil is gonna last me <laughs> so long because his fragrances are so long lasting this fragrance right here is intoxicating um, I was nervous about the oud uh, because I'm, I'm not too familiar with oud um, except for like Swiss Arabian Shagoff oud that's probably the most oudy fragrance and another one that I have here on this list uh, that's about all the oud that I'm familiar with and so um, I was quite nervous when receiving this I kind of took the plunge um, and I'm not disappointed. I'm honestly just disappointed in myself that I didn't get the bigger bottle of this. Onyx is a beautiful plum, rose, chocolate, patchouli with oud. This is so unique. It is, oh my goodness. I cannot describe how bomb this is. To me, this is so delicious. So my cousins, uh, a couple of weeks ago, they had the Bad Bunny concert online. So I wore this and I got complimented by like my cousins, my aunt. I only sprayed this when I left the house, okay? My cousin said that right when she walked into the living room, she's like, all I could smell is, all I can smell is your perfume, Stephanie. This definitely left a big, huge bubble around me. Um, <laughs> I mean, she said the whole living room smelled like me. And the cool thing about his fragrances is that the more you warm up or that your skin warms up, the more it just projects and projects and projects. My aunt was a fan and my, my aunt is, my aunt is a perfume lover just like me. So she definitely is like, I want where you're wearing. The next fragrance that I have is a really nice one. It is a beautiful 90s. Uh, type of fragrance reminds me of a red lipstick but I think it's also super appropriate for fall time it's Narciso Rodriguez Rouge now oh, this one has tuberose and obviously Narciso Rodriguez is a uh, like really popular musk oh, this is so this is so stunning I have to spray let me tell you guys what I pick up I didn't write notes or anything guys so i apologize it has like that makeupy lipsticky vibe about it it's powdery but yet it has like that lipsticky quality like i said i pick up on the tuberose i think there's some tonka bean and vanilla in here <laughs> I don't know, there's some sense that just make me so happy. I apologize for the sound quality in advance. I'm, I really, truly am sorry. 
my cell phone died and so I'm not gonna have good quality sound up until this point so thank you guys for watching but um so if you guys hear my baby hiccuping in the background I'm so sorry you guys this is this is a kind of a disaster video and I, I really apologize um anyways so Rodriguez uh, Rouge and uh, it's good it's probably one of my best blind buys that I've done this year this fragrance that I want to talk to you guys about is one that I was recommended by my lovely fraghead friend it's MJ here on YouTube um, I'm gonna go ahead and link her channel down below she's awesome if you guys haven't checked her out which I doubt it she recommended to me Laura Mercier's Ombre Venim and you guys when I I kid you not this is brand new look at the dent I'm, I'm not even joking with you guys I love this is a love like where has this been my whole life this is super underrated this is a nice everyday fall scent in my opinion I feel like there's like a clean vibe to this but it's not detergent it's not soapy this is like a beautiful everyday clean like I would want to smell like this 24 7 I told MJ like I smell so freaking delicious and it's because it's it's good it's not groundbreaking at all like literally it's not but it's super long lasting I'll definitely like this is like an easy grab and go and you're gonna smell bomb it's year round but I feel like in the fall time with a cozy sweater is just a vibe I'm gonna talk about one more and then I'll get into like probably my top five so this is Lolita Land by Lolita Lempica and this is gorgeous you guys look at the juice the nose behind this was Francis Cryptogen this is a good cheapie I kid you not there's it's a, it's really synthetic I'm not gonna lie if you're really sensitive to synthetic notes this is not gonna be for you this is like she talked uh, Gabby loves perfume said that this is like a peach strawberry jam I would have to agree but it's it's not the texture of jam this is light and airy in true Francis Kirk to John style okay it's like a light airy strawberry jam okay strawberry peach jam it's a very airy scent but don't let the term airy fool you this is a heavy hitter this is strong you will get longevity 12 plus hours I kid you not it projects for a good four hours of that four to five hours of that okay the gold part gets stuck in this like little cheapy thing up here but other than that this is a fantastic scent this is a, this is a good cheapy like I said to my top five so we're gonna start with uh, number five over here okay and this is Atalia by Parfums de Marly. Atalia is a really beautiful smoky iris type of scent. I that's the best way I can describe it. You guys, I I don't have the notes in front of me. I I didn't take notes. This is just like a really like a video I just decided to do right now. This this is not a safe blind buy, okay? I don't recommend blind buying this one. I recommend you try it. It's sophisticated. It's grown up. You definitely want to wear this one um, on a night out. I don't think that this is an everyday scent. You wear this when you want to be taken seriously. I feel like you like you wear this to a cocktail party, to the opera. My daughter's literally so bored of herself, she's making raspberry sounds. I almost get an incense vibe to this. And there's a little woodsiness to it. This is definitely a, a grown woman scent. Like Number four, okay, is Jazz Club by Maze and Margiela. You guys, this is gorgeous. This is probably my most masculine scent that I have. 
in my collection that I that I really really love. This one has notes of tobacco leaf, rum. Mm. I believe there's vanilla because there's a hint of sweetness in there. There's vetiver in here for sure because there's like a greenness to it. This is, like I said, this is completely unisex. This actually leans a little more masculine, but I love this. But I'm going to probably decant this into a sprayer. Also one that I'm going to be sad when I run out because I'm going to have to purchase a bottle and it's not cheap. So uh, yeah, that's Jazz Club by Maison Margiela. Top three, here we go. Okay, the next one that I want to talk about that has quickly become a love and this is brand new to my collection and this one is Armani Code Satin. I thought that this was discontinued a long time ago and for some reason got brought back. This is sexy. I was talking to my uh, sister-in-law and she actually told me, she's like, I picture this like a woman wearing red and just being kissed all over. And that's the vibes that I get too. This is I feel like this is what you wear for close encounters. This is what you wear for Netflix and chill. This is what you wear if you want your man to get closer to you and to just think that you smell like a damn snack. Oof. This is this is sex in a bottle, you guys. Also cozy. Have like a citrusy note at the beginning, like a, a hint of freshness. But that quickly dies down and you get this really beautiful like praline once it dries down it kind of smells like a dr pepper okay like a like a rich expensive <laughs> what are you doing huh beautiful dr pepper you guys this is such a disaster video i, I apologize okay there's just something cozy about it this is this is one that I would wear too um, with like a cozy sweater like a night in I would wear this for a night in I would also wear this for date night but I don't think it projects it doesn't project at all this is for for really close encounter date nights if you know what I mean I think that this is a lifer for me this next one is also new to my collection I got this during a sale and I've been wanting this one for a long time, you guys. And I finally have her. And this one is the beautiful, the one, the only, Lancome's Good Bouquet. Isn't she lovely? Correct lyrics to that song. But this, the bottle, the bottle, come on, guys. The cap. You guys, this is similar to Shagaf Oud, okay? The only thing, this does not project. I'm actually kind of disappointed that this doesn't project more. I haven't fully doused myself in it though, so I will update you guys. But Shagaf Oud is strong, okay? That is beast, beast, beast mode. But this one is a lot smoother. It takes you on a journey because it actually opens up very differently from Shagaf Oud. Uh, I feel like this one slowly takes you to the dry down. As opposed to Shagaf Oud, I feel is quite linear in my opinion. I, I, I feel like it doesn't take you as much on a journey. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit just like in your face, like I'm bomb, you know? This one, it, it, it's a lot smoother is what I'm trying to say. And there's like that rubbery type of burnt rubber note that you get in chaga food you do not get in this one i'm glad to finally have it in my collection and i feel like i'm gonna have this bottle for a long time it's it's gorgeous ah i'm so excited to have it it's beautiful it's finally in my possession my number one ochre the other ones were no particular order except for my top five okay but this one takes the cake and this one is gorgeous. You guys could probably already hear the bottle and know and guess what it is. 
Montel's Intense Cafe. I have been wanting this bottle for over a year. Okay. This is a tester bottle, so I don't even have to worry about taking this one out, this thing out. Um, this... If, if you haven't tried this, please do. Do yourself a favor and, and get like a tester, okay? Test it out. This is a beautiful rose fragrance. Okay, this, I'm gonna spray it. Where did I not spray something? Okay, I've been sprayed right here. This is strong, this is beast mode, okay? See, right now, I get a burst of coffee. There's times I don't get coffee at all, you guys. I, I get it like in the way background, you can smell it, but barely. I get a burst of coffee, but it's not like an espresso dark coffee. It's like a creamy coffee. <laughs> it's like you, you put sugar and you put cream in that coffee. But then you start getting like this It's almost like a waffle kind of vanilla cone type of thing. And then you start getting that rose in the background, okay? Sometimes that changes though, because I, I, I've had time to actually test this one out. If you guys want to see a full in-depth review of this, let me know. But the rose in here is so sweet. It's It's gorgeous, you guys. This is like... This is a love for me. This is what I want to smell like every day in fall. This is it. This is going to be like my dumb reach go-to for nighttime for sure. I like I would wear this during the day as well, but um, I feel like I'd reach for probably ombre vanilla as like an everyday, but I, I, this is a special occasion, but I would, I would want to wear this like day and night like I don't even care you know like I'm probably gonna be running through a bottle of this super quick um, but it's strong you guys it is strong it's beautiful but once it gets colder um, I definitely have noticed that the rose um, s stands out a whole lot more if you haven't checked intense cafe out the hype it's worth the hype this is an overhyped fragrance that actually is hyped up for a very good reason. I love it. This video was a hot mess. It was everywhere. I hope I was in focus. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you guys uh, for joining me today. And uh, have a great day and stay smelling good.